Hello everyone, I am Bhanu Prakash from the Department of Civil Engineering at IIT Roorkee. With our uh, team, we are going to offer a course on water and wastewater treatment. It is relevant to the UG students of Civil Engineering. So as the title indicates, it is about water and wastewater treatment. When we talk about wastewater, what is it that in effect we are referring to? We are referring to the waste that we are releasing from our homes. Let us say I am uh, using the bathroom in the morning, I am flushing my toilet. All that waste needs to go somewhere. So where is that going to end up? If I do not take care of it, it is going to end up polluting the land or polluting the receiving water body. When I talk about the receiving water body, what is exactly happening there? So the waste that I release is organic compound, reduced form of carbon. Once it reaches this water body, let us say the Ganga canal here, let us say, for example, if it is receiving the Rurki population's waste, what is going to happen? So the dissolved oxygen there, right, oxygen, it is an electron acceptor and the waste that we are dumping in is a reduced form of carbon. So you are going to have the relevant consumption of oxygen and then you are going to have septic conditions, anaerobic conditions where no life will prevail in that aquatic system. So when we are talking about wastewater treatment, what are we trying to do? We are trying to see to it that these organic compounds are, are waste, are degraded within engineered systems which we call or refer to as wastewater treatment plants. So what is the principle here? Even in the wastewater treatment plants, we provide the electron acceptor which is oxygen. But the key is to improve the feasibility, economic feasibility, we see to it that the time frame required is less or we want to achieve that. How do we do that? We want to improve the kinetics. How do we do that in a cheap manner? We use microorganisms. So why do microorganisms want to do that? Because microorganisms want to grow. So for that they need sources of energy, sources of carbon for cell synthesis. So our waste is the food for the microbes and we provide the oxygen that they need and the microbes release enzymes to degrade these or to improve the kinetics of degradation of our waste. So that is the principle and other aspects with respect to water treatment as in we would have heard of sedimentation, coagulation, flocculation and such. Sedimentation what is it about? It is nothing but you know taking the help of gravity and trying to see to it that the particles that can be settled by gravity within a reasonable amount of time will be settled out. Those that cannot be we are going to try to neutralize the charge, coagulate, right, form flocks, coagulation and flocculation and then settle them down in sedimentation tanks, right? So that is the principle out there. Then disinfection, for example, we know that we have different pathogens in the water, so we want to disinfect the water, so we have disinfection by various means, typically oxidizing agent chlorine is added, if not UV. So you know we are going to look at these principles in general and talk about the design of some of these aspects and it should be a pretty interesting course, again as I mentioned it is for UG students. Before I wrap up this introductory session, I would like to thank my advisor Dr. Bill Batchelor from whom I learned all the aspects related to this course and much more. I hope we are going to have a worthwhile uh, session. Thank you. Mm -hmm.